Good morning to all of you. Welcome back to the class. We will now continue with the same chapter, linear equations and two variables. And this is going to be the part three. Same chapter, same section, linear equations continued. And in the last video, hope all of you have understood. Almost, let us see this example. In the last video, we saw the uh, how uh, what is meant by linear equations in two variables that is 1 degree and two variables ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and some properties we learned addition or subtraction, multiplication or division of non-zero constants and variables will not affect the solution of the equation that is what we have understood. And in this video we are going to practice some examples with which you will be able to thoroughly understand what exactly is linear equation is a linear equation in two variables. So, what we can do once you finish this, this part then you can go back to the previous part if you have not understood anything, but that may not happen. Let us see the examples. First example, write each of the following equations in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and indicate the values of a, b and c in each case. So, thoroughly closely listen to me. Now, this is the most important thing how you will be able to understand what exactly is meant by a linear equation in two variables. So, whatever equation is given, we are going to convert that to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and also understand what is a, b and c. With that you will be able to understand what is a constant and what is a variable. So, first one 2x plus 3y equal to 4.37. This one I will explain in detail. Next one onwards I am going to pass so that you will be able to, you will also try in your notebook and then check what I am telling is correct. 2x plus 3y, so it is now given in the form of you can see ax plus by equal to c. I will just write here ax plus by equal to c. So what we are going to do? Yes, we are going to take c to LHS from RHS and make RHS 0. So, taking RHS 4.37 to LHS, we get 2x plus 3y minus 4.37 equal to 0. So, note the change in sign of 4.37, all of you know, but every time I am giving so that you do not make any mistake or you do not have any confusion. Now, this is in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where a equal to 2, b equal to 3, c equal to minus 4.37. Again, remember the sign of each and every alphabet is important, every constant. Since it is minus 4.37, it should be construed as, cons considered as 2x plus 3y plus within bracket minus 4.37. That is the constant is minus 4.37. So, and the answer is, you know, all of you, we have to put a box and write the answer inside 2x plus 3y minus 4.37 equal to 0 that is what is asked. The question is indicate write the equation as well as indicate the value of a, b and c. So, a equal to 2, b equal to 3, c equal to minus 4.37. So, hope you have understood this thoroughly. Let me once again explain the red whatever I have written let it be there in this page. So, a x plus b y equal to c is the format which is given in the question. We have now taken C from RHS to LHS and changed the sign. So, 2x plus 3y minus 4.37 equal to 0 is the given equation, is the given answer, is the required answer, sorry not given equation. The given equation is 2x plus 3y equal to 4.37 and the required answer is 2x plus 3y minus 4.37 equal to 0. And the next answer is they have asked for A, B and C, we have to indicate what is the value for each and every constant. So, x before x it is 2, before y it is 3 and before the constant the, or the c constant is minus 4.37 that is the answer. So, now you can pass, note down this step by step whatever we have written and then go to the next page because the next page onwards I will not write the detailed steps, sorry, I will not write the detailed steps but you will see the uh, answer only. We will move to the next one. The next question is x minus 4 equal to 3y. So, now I am giving a pass, I will see whether it is root 3y or 3y, yeah it is root 3y, x minus 4 equal to root 3y and now you have to 
make this the first answer should be ax plus by minus c sorry a of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and for each and every one a b and c you have to indicate the value now pause the video take your notebook write the answer the equation you have to write ax plus by plus c equal to 0 you have to write and also indicate the value for each of a b and c and then check after you play the video you will know i am going to talk then you will be knowing whether your answer is correct or not Yes, I am sure most of you would have done it correctly. Those who have not done correctly does not matter. Again, we have got one more question, then we will see. It is x minus root 3y minus 4 equal to 0. So, what I have done? This root 3y on the RHS I have taken to LHS. The sign changes from positive to negative and it, we have got the answer ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now, a equal to 1. Remember because x there is no constant before x. So, you should write a equal to 1. Do not make a mistake of 0. Do not think it is 0. b is minus root 3. Again as I told it is minus 3 root 3 by minus 4. So, the constant is minus root 3 and the constant c is minus 4. Hope by now most of you would have understood or everyone would have understood. Now, let us go to the third example. Sorry, fourth example. Third example is in the next page. 2x equal to y. Now you see, again pass the video, write your answer and then wait for me to tell. Good, I am sure now, maybe small confusion may be there. What is c? Where is c now? There is no constant. Yes, 2x minus y plus 0 equal to 0. If c is not given, we can substitute c with 0. Only a and b should not be simultaneously 0. Remember, z, c can be always 0, not a problem. So, a is 2, b is minus 1. Remember, because y has been brought from RHS to LHS, so b has become minus 1 and c equal to 0. This is the answer. Now, I am sure 100% all of you have understood. Let us go to the next page for question number 3. Now, you can also check, pause the video and check whether what you have written is correct or not. Wherever there is a mistake, you can just circle it and keep it. Understand what is a mistake and then go to the next page. Yes, we will move to the next page. 4 minus 5x minus 3y. Ah, this is a little different, right? It is something confusing or not confusing. Good, not confusing. So, now pause the video, write the answer ax plus by minus c equal to 0 and then write the values of a, b and c and then after you wrote, write, then you play the video and check what I am going to tell is correct or not. Ready? Everybody is ready for the challenge? Let us see. There are two answers. I have written answer a, I am going to have an answer b also. 5x minus 3y minus 4 equal to 0. So, what I have done? Taken RH, 5x and minus 3y to LHS. No, no, I have not done that. I have taken now LHS to RHS. So, 5x minus 3y minus 4 equal to 0. Only thing LHS to RHS I have taken and just reverse the order. I have put RHS in LHS, LHS in RHS. Hope it is not confusing. Simply what I have done, you see this 4 I have brought here, correct? And the sign has changed to minus 4 and put 0 here, right? So, while writing I have just written left side as right side, right side as left side. So, instead of 0 equal to 5x minus 3y minus 4, I have written 5x minus 3y minus 4 equal to 0. So, a equal to 5, b equal to minus 3, c equal to minus 4, okay? Why? There is another answer which is clear from what I have written in red. I think some of you would have done like that. Let us see what is the answer. Minus 5x minus plus 3y plus 4 equal to 0. So, what I have done in this? In this I have done, I have taken these two here and put here 0. See the green now. So, 4 remains there plus 4. 5x has become minus 5x minus 3y has become plus 3y. So, the green is here, right? And the red is here. 
find understand minus 5 b equal to 3 c equal to 4. Simple this is there is nothing big rocket science in this. So, there are two answers possible a answer a answer b. So, both are correct ok I am right I am put some I put some notes also. Now, I am going to remove the markings. So, if you want to note these markings you can note after a minute you can then play the video. Yes, let me remove this. So, we can either take LHS to RHS as in A. So, 5x 4 I have taken to RHS or RHS to LHS as we normally do that is here 5x minus 3y I have taken to LHS. So, both are ok important note the sign of each constant every time when you take LHS to RHS or RHS to LHS change the sign that is the most important thing. Now, we will proceed to the next page. So, next example write each of the following as an equation in two variables x equal to minus 5 yes this I will explain to you how to do we have already seen this conversion of one variable to two variables. So, linear equation one variable can be converted to linear equations two variables by adding a second variable with multiplication factor of 0. So, x plus 0 y plus 5 equal to 0. So, variable y I have added because y is not there and put 0 before that and therefore, the answer is the, we will be discussing this later in a de in detail in later part, but the answer here is x plus 0 y plus 5 equal to 0 simple yes you can note down this and then move to the next page where we will have another two questions I think two same two sub head sub questions we will see that. Yeah, y equal to 2 as usual pass the video write the answer and then check. Good I am sure now everybody has got it 0 x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 fantastic one more 2 x equal to 3 very good. So, here y is not there in the previous one x was not there. So, 0 we put before x now y is not there we are putting 0 before y 2 x minus 0 y minus 3 equal to 0 one more is there let me see yes 5 y equal to 2 same good I think 100 percent everybody has got it all get scores 100 percent marks minus 0 x plus 5 y minus 2 just for your understanding I put minus 0 x both are ok you can put plus 0 x also you can put minus 0 x also both are correct there is nothing wrong in that. That is all I think let me see anything else is there otherwise we will go to the next page yes. So, in this video we practiced some examples I hope all of you have understood linear equations in two variables thoroughly and also found how to convert one variable to two variables, but again we will be do not bother much about conversion we will see at a later part, but the point is we have now understood linear equations in two variables thoroughly. In the next video the next part so out of three we have now understood one that is learnt what is linear equation in two variables. Next second is solutions how to find solutions for linear equations that is what we are going to see in the next part. There are two questions this is uh, aspect textbook you can pass the video note down the questions in the next page there are a couple of questions given by me. Yes next page two questions and that is all for this video thank you.